Hello my internet peeps, how are you today? Scott Rideshare here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome. So today uh, I wanted to tell you something that happened actually a couple of weeks ago. I was uh, driving around and what popped up on my, uh, on my uh, Uber app was that it said, congratulations, you've completed over 1,000 five-star trips. Which means, out of all the trips that I've done, over a thousand of them have been uh, five-star trips. Now, that was a little surprising to me, uh, mostly because how things have changed since I started driving. When I first started driving, I, I was constantly looking to see um, how many you know five-star trips I had. I, I was always looking at my rating to make sure my rating was high. I was always checking the badges to see what badges uh, Uber passengers gave me. Also, I was checking to see if there were any compliments written, you know, over and over and over again. Well, as time goes on, you kind of forget. Like, at first, I could, I remember I, I picked up this young lady. I took her to downtown Fort Lauderdale, uh, not downtown Fort Lauderdale, down by the beach, by the strip. And when we ended the ride, um, she gets out of the car, and I could see her typing. And as soon as I was driving away, um, I kind of looked to as I was checking with everybody, and I noticed that she had actually written a compliment. And I knew what it was because her compliment pertained to what we talked about on the drive over. So I knew it was her, and it was it was stuff like that I was checking on. Then at some point, <laughs> it was so many passengers and I was so busy and things were going on that I kind of let that slide. I, I would check it after a while. I wouldn't check it every single time. And uh, I um, I noticed that I, I my rating had remained high. It was it was pretty high. I remember the rideshare professor. I was watching his videos, and he was talking about how. You know, it's important to keep your ratings high because you get high tips. Now, understand that he, he drives in L.A. He, he drives rich Beverly Hills area where, you know, he's, he's driving around movie stars and basketball stars. And <laughs> he's nowhere near where I'm driving. And he's talking about if you keep your ratings high that you'll make enough money in tips to pay for your gas, which is not true in my area. <laughs> It's not even close. But he was talking about how he was the highest rating in L.A. And he kept saying what his rating was. And I would look at my rating and see that my rating was higher. <laughs> so I was kind of surprised about that. But at the same time, I realized that what I was doing was right. It, it was the right thing for passengers, for them to, you know, keep giving me high ratings. Which is what you need. You need to keep high ratings. You keep your ratings high, they'll kind of pair you up as much as possible with high with passengers with high ratings and you'll have a tendency to not um, n not have problems with passengers uh, because you're talking about passengers who who are usually on their best behavior do a good you know and, and they pair you guys up together anyway uh, I, I kind of really stopped looking at the 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 badges and the ratings and the comments and all that every once in a while I'll flip over and it would seem like I would give maybe, I don't know, 10 Uber rides and I would see the five star ratings jump up 20 times, you know, because it, it had the ratings from the previous time. And when I log on, it would, it, would, it would jump up to what the current rating is. And it would seem like I would give maybe 10 passengers a ride and all of a sudden I had 30 ratings and it. it'll jump up 30, 20, 30 points. So I was always kind of amazed and shocked at that. Another thing that happened is I stopped driving Uber Pool, and since I stopped driving Uber Pool, my Uber rides have kind of dropped down. And when Uber raised their rates down here in Florida, the Uber rides dropped down even more. So I I wasn't expecting me to have so many. I mean, I knew I was giving a lot of rides out only because I'd been around for a while. But I didn't realize that I went so far as to get over a thousand five star ratings. I didn't think it was even close to that. <laughs> so that that kind of shocked me a little bit. Um, I do remember at one point that I was driving and there was a lady sitting next to me, and we had I think her son and daughter in the back, 
and her daughter's boyfriend or her daughter's friend in the back. And she's she's looking at my profile and she's looking at me and she goes, what did you do to get this all-star badge? This Because they have a... They have like a badge in there that you can give your your passengers, your drivers, like a it's like a f- all, some kind of superstar, all star. I don't even remember what it is, uh, and and I got quite a few of them. Uh, I got a lot of excellent service. I got a lot of all star, but uh, she's she's looking at it and looking at me like, what did you do? Like, <laughs> like I went above and beyond. I I told her, look, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't even pay attention to that. I uh, each passenger that gets in the car. Uh, I treat them as they're my only passenger ever, and I, uh, I want them to have a you know a nice comfortable ride. So that's all it is. You know, it, I I try to feel them out to see if they they want to talk. I try to feel them out if they don't want to talk, and I I just go from there. You know, I I offer them to change water. I'm sorry, I offer to change the radio and the AC, and I even ask them if they have preferences on how to get where we're going. Um, and and that's pretty much it. Then I, I try to feel out whether they want to talk or not. If they don't want to talk, I, I shut up. If they do want to talk, then, uh, you know, I talk. Sometimes I, I think I misinterpret it because there was a, a time in Lyft where uh, my weekly thing came out. My weekly, I forget what, what they call it, but it's like a weekly thing that tells you how you did. And I looked at it and uh, it, it said like poor conversation or something. Which was which was no conversation. I don't know something weird, but that was the reason I didn't get five stars. Um, usually, it's because they don't like my music, <laughs> which is weird because I I always say, "Let me know if you want me to change the radio." And I think what it is is that sometimes I have the talk radio on in the morning, and they go, "No, no, it's okay," and they don't want to hear the talk radio. So <clears throat> anyway. Um, the one with the conversation from the lift ride, I was kind of surprised because I'm, I always try to read, you know, my passengers. And if they if they want to talk, I talk. If they seem like they don't want to talk, then I, I don't talk. So my guess is they, they did want to talk, but I misread them. And I was just kind of quiet through the trip. Um, it happens, you know, you, you're not going <laughs> to please all the people all the time. So... Uh, that, w- that was one thing, right? But most of the times, I'm just... That's all it is. It's, I'm just... I'm asking them how they are. I used to have water. I used to have snacks. Um, and I, I literally used to offer them uh, the char- to charge the phone. Um, and, you know, when it came to the water and the snacks, people were like, no, it's okay, no, it's okay. I mean, literally, one time, one person took the snacks. I was the one who ate the water. <laughs> I'd be driving and I'd, I'd be hungry and I'd reach into the bag because there, there was a bag it was behind my um, behind my chair facing the passengers and you know there was some ice in there uh, it was like a refreezable ice cube tray or something I, hard to explain but um I would I would put that in and I would put the water and the snacks in there and I would I was hungry I was driving around all day I'd reach in the back and I'd <laughs> grab some snacks I'd grab some water and I, I kind of stopped uh, carrying water and, and snacks because I was carrying them, you know, the, the bag back and forth. I was freezing the ice and uh, no one was taking it. It was, it was me who was taking it. So so when I ran out of the water or when I ran out of the snacks, I, I just, I kind of stopped carrying it. It did not affect my ratings at all. Um, you know, I know a lot of times when, when Uber's... Um, when Uber was doing like a lot of the training, they were saying carry the water, carry the snacks, but I, I don't. It hasn't affected my ratings at all. Um, but anyway, uh, that, that kind of surprised me with that. So uh, it, it took me at one point my Uber driving dropped. I mean, it's not nearly what it used to be. Uh, my Lyft has gone way up, especially since um, you know Uber raised the rates. Um, People are now more and more just picking Lyft over Uber, so I'm, I was really surprised when it hit that uh, <laughs> one over one thousand five star rating. <laughs> but I wanted to say that you know it, it, it's a pleasure driving. You know, I, I get in a car, I drive people around, I meet a lot of interesting people, I have great conversation, and I, I make my own hours. Um, 
of course, you know, we all wish we had more money. It doesn't matter how much you have, you you wish you had more. Uh, but other than that, everything's, you know, everything's good. It's a, uh, it was kind of fun, uh, the whole journey so far. And I hope to continue making it until I, until I get where I need to go. Because uh, if you've looked at my previous videos, you know that I don't believe um, that rideshare is going to be around for that much longer. I mean, I don't think it's going to be gone in five years, but I think in the next five to ten years, it won't be profitable uh, or profitable enough for me to keep doing it. Uh, maybe somebody else will keep doing it, but uh, I won't at that point. So any, in either case, um, I just wanted to you know let everyone know that, yeah, I did, I did over a thousand five-star ratings. I know when I got my, my gift from Lyft, I almost immediately unboxed it on my previous channel, but... Uh, you know, I, this one I was just, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and it happened like a like a month ago or so or something like that. Um, but anyway, I wanted to let you know about that. And if you want to make some extra money, you want to have some fun driving around, uh, please take a look at the links down below. I have uh, links for both Uber and Lyft if you want to drive. Uh, you can pay off that bill. You can save up for something. You know, you want to save for vacation. You want to get rid of a credit card bill. Whatever it is you want to do. Uh, I would suggest signing up for one first and then once you get the bonus then sign up for the other one then get the bonus on that one you know turn the first one off and then once you get the bonus for both then you know drive for both drive for none uh however you want to do it it's always a great way to make some extra part-time cash anyway this is scott rise share thank you for watching my channel thank you for being there please like subscribe share hit that bell notification and have a great day